uh, six o'clock in the morning, obviously. It's 8.30 now and uh, it's clouded over and Katuku seems to have followed us here. Bay. It's looking back to where we came from. This is Waiheke Island. Actually, I imagine quite a few of those are on moorings. This end of the bay is quite shallow. A lovely spot for the house over there. It's fantastic. And we have this reef coming out here. A very high overcast. Lack of wind at this stage. And there's the Waiheke uh, vehicle ferry. There's the uh, eastern end of the Tamaki Strait. Hello 
I mean? We're going to go around the other side and run to Tapu. Rakino. And Waiheke. Well, that's Calypso Bay at uh, Motuhi. Uh, that's where Finn got one of his uh, stone uh, towers. Ah, the northerly has finally kicked in. Uh, it's supposed to go northwest later. So we are uh, still on Tamaki Strait. We'll go back through the Kauau Passage. We'll have the tide with us by then. Uh, we still have a very high overcast with uh, the only patch of blue being around over my right eye. Hold again for a change. So that's Islington Bay straight ahead, which is between Motutapu and Marangatoto. Uh, there is actually a high tide that passes between the two, although it's uh, under a bridge. We have taken the dinghy through in the past. There's Browns Island, and then behind that, one would find downtown Auckland. That's West Bay. Uh, pointing to the channel. Uh, there's quite a few Uh, this is home bay, Motutapu Island. Believe not, we've got Kotuku, uh, the furthest away. Uh, Maldi Hull, partially obscured. That's Motuihi. Uh, looking across to Waiheke. We seem to have our own wee beach. My fashion model. That's me. Okay, ship's girl is now able to start the upboard. So they're off to shore for a walk. We've had some trouble with the further jamming. Uh, I think there's far too many turns on it. This is obviously uh, furled at the moment. Right, well we'll try that. So we've got a few extra turns on here so we should be fine. It's quite tightly furled. Our dinghy over there, so the girls have obviously walked up that hill. There's lots of tracks around here, the whole island being a reserve. We've had the northwesterly change and some rain. It was a bit uh, muggy and humid for a while, but it's cooled down now. A few boats on here. 
all well spaced apart. what stops which is supposed to be around the dead. Right, well we have a promotion or two. So Annalise has been promoted from cabin girl to able seaman and she gets the able seaman's knife which is badge of office and able seaman Caitlin has been promoted to third mate. Oh that's exciting. <laughs> so it's been wonderful to have you two on board. This is your last full day. So the good news is I'm going to get another day's worth of work out of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's turned into a glorious uh, afternoon now. The rain's gone. It's suddenly become hot again. Well, we're off uh, under sail. Uh, fairly much direct downwind and not far to go, so just under main. We're going to pass back through the Motihi Channel. The newly promoted able seaman was uh, entirely responsible for anchor duty. Well, we're getting into the Motihi uh, Passage. So that's the cliffs on Motatapu and Islington Bay is on the other side of those. Browns Island where we're heading for is straight ahead. Here comes one moving hole in the water on I think 25 metres away. And yes we know it's gone past. comes a much bigger one uh, which has a less devastating wake and is staying as far away as it can which is great of them. So it might be faster, it might be a hell of a lot bigger than uh, being a catamaran. It really is not that noticeable. Still a reasonable tide running, which is uh, fortunate because you know, it would take a very long time in this wind if there wasn't. Actually, gentle breeze would be a better term than wind. But we've got all come back in view again. There's looking back at the Motor Ehi Passage we've just passed through, and here's the south side of Motor Ehi Island again, which we went along yesterday. A good bank of cumulus over the uh, south side of the Tamaki Strait and a fairly brooding cloud up to Rangitoto. Well, we're heading for Sort of the junction of the low bit and the hilly bit of Browns Island. 